Welcome all to this Mortals Watch Today mini focusing on Thomas Lewis's photograph entitled David Lewis's Hostel and Club, Liverpool, first published as a collar type picture postcard circa 1907. Following his t- contemporary photograph of the flagship Lewis's department store on Ranley Street, Thomas Lewis continued the capture of Liverpool buildings echoing his surname'sake with this unusual off-centre shot of the new David Lewis Working Men's Hostel and Club opened in 1906 at Great George Place. Originally designed by J. Francis Doyle, the architect perhaps best known for his neo-baroque Royal Insurance Building on Liverpool's North John Street. The hostel occupied the site of the old St James's Market and was intended to offer a safe haven for working class men, many of them transient sailors, labourers or dock workers who needed a place to stay in the city that was clean, welcoming and above all free from vice and temptation. Doyle's design carefully replicated key elements from the Lewis's department store frontage, such as the hexagonal cupolas at each corner and the central clock pediment. Funds for the erection and design of the hostel were derived from the trust set up in 1893 and administered by executors of the estate of Jewish businessman David Lewis, whose much-admired philanthropy in Liverpool during his lifetime had sealed his reputation as a benefactor to the common man. The Lewis's estate had already been involved in the foundation of the David Lewis Northern Hospital in Great Howard Street in 1896 to 1902, and at the time of its opening, the Working Men's Hostel was roundly hailed as yet one further honour to Lewis's memory. As conceived, the Davis Lewis Hostel and Club was atypical in that although the primary reason that lay behind its construction was putting a roof over working men's heads, it was also intended as a venue for wholesome popular entertainment, leisure and sport. A music hall theatre was part of the facilities from the outset. Later, in 1910, amateur theatricals became a regular feature, as did the presentation of moving pictures from 1914 and licensed boxing and billiards in the 1920s and 1930s. With space to accommodate around 1,000 people, the theatre inside the Davy Lou was one of the largest in the city and almost unique as a performance venue in its prohibition of alcohol. Following contemporary attitudes toward temperance, the sale and or consumption of liquor on the premises was absolutely forbidden and could result in the immediate expulsion of residents and visitors alike. Thomas Lewis's photograph of the David Lewis Hostel and Club is chiefly notable for its capturing of the building's expansive grandeur as it appeared before the public only a year or so after the venue first opened its doors. That public, or more precisely, a small fragment thereof, is exemplified by the presence of a group of working-class men, all standing transfixed in the small garden area in the right foreground. The rigid character of these individuals, each standing to attention, directly facing the photographer, more than likely owes something to the obtrusive presence of the police constable or other such authoritarian figure, shown standing with his back to the camera on the far right and thus engenders something of a mystery. Because whilst the men's attitude could ostensibly be explained by the presence of the photographer himself, whose heavy plate camera and tripod would of necessity have been set up in a prominent position across the thoroughfare, and whilst it's even feasible that the men agreed to pose for the photograph beforehand, owing to the lurking presence of the uniformed man close by, there's an unmistakable air of unease that speaks to the ever-present mistrust of the working classes in public spaces, of whom it was generally assumed they were always up to no good. Ironically, this was exactly the kind of social prejudice that the David Lewis Hostel and Club was designed to challenge and combat.